My name is Rachel Salas. I'm a sleep neurologist, um, board certified in both specialties. I'm Dr. Virginia Runko. I'm a Johns Hopkins behavioral sleep medicine specialist. So obstructive sleep apnea is actually the more common, common one. It's essentially where the airway collapses while, while you sleep and you're just, even though you're trying to take a breath, you can't. The breath is held for um, 10 or more seconds and then there may be a choking or a gasping sound as they try to breathe again. Um, and so that episode is, is an apneic episode. So that's an episode of sleep apnea. So there's this holding a breath and breathing again. And this can happen repeatedly throughout, and throughout the night. For, I mean, in some cases, every 30 seconds, this can happen to somebody. So you can imagine their sleep is fragmented. The only way to definitively diagnose obstructive sleep apnea is uh, with an overnight sleep study, uh, the polysom polysomnography. Um, and what they do for that is they hook up a bunch of sensors, you sleep um, either in the lab, sometimes they have home studies now, and it monitors brainwave activity to see if you're sleeping, breathing, oxygen, things like that to see whether or not you're having these, these events. The most common treatment for obstructive sleep apnea is uh, a CPAP device. That's um, a continuous positive airway pressure device. And what that does is it's a mask. It's delivered through a mask, so you sleep with a mask at night. And air, air is um, pushed through that mask, gentle air, to basically make sure that the throat area that collapses is kept open the entire night long. That's the most common, um, but sometimes it's hard to use that and hard to get used to that. And at the Howard County Sleep Disorder Center, we'll evaluate for that and make sure it's as comfortable as we can. If there's any hurdles that you're coming into, we try to make sure um, we can tackle those problems that are, that are happening. If you have more mild to moderate, you know, conservative therapy, weight loss, uh, positional therapy, and, and perhaps even a, a dental appliance, which is an approved therapy as well. Um, and, and the other thing that may come into play is a uh, referral to our colleagues in otolaryngology for a uh, formal evaluation because potentially surgery could be helpful.